Hi, guess what? Today we're gonna to tag two monarchs that we raised. You ready? Hey, Matt, come on in. So right here we have a male monarch. See how I'm holding it? Do you see right beneath my finger, there's a cell that looks like a little mitten cell. This is on the hind wing, and I have a tag that I ordered from Monarch Watch and I'm gonna place it right on the mitten wing, the mitten cell on the hind wing. The heat of my finger adheres it to the wing. Monarch wings are so strong. Ah, there it goes, let's do another one, you ready? Monarch wings are so strong, they are not bothered in the least by these tags. So here we go, let's try another one. See, I'm pulling it out of my little container. Oh, it wants to climb on my hair. I think this is a female. And what we do is we will mark the temperature, the day, the location, and we will log this into our little log book so that we can report this back to Monarch Watch. Because in the off chance that this butterfly is found when it overwinters all the way in the Sierra Madre Mountains in Mexico, if it is found, they will be able to tell us, here we go, I'm gonna tag it. They'll be able to tell us that our little butterfly made it all the way from Louisville, Kentucky, down to the, the Sierra Madre Mountains in Mexico Oh, it's a female. Isn't it beautiful? Maybe she'll show off. Oh, she didn't. But basically, everybody, one of the great things is to be a citizen scientist and to tag monarch butterflies because think how joyful that will be one day to know that our little butterflies who we raised flew all the way down to the mountains. They can fly 2,000 or more miles down to the Sierra Madre Mountains where they overwinter. And then in March, they'll have the urge to fly north into, into Texas and they'll find milkweed and lay an egg. Happy monarch raising, everybody.